Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm continuing on with my OneNote for Windows series. This is level three now, and I'm gonna focus on just tips and tricks in this one. In my first two videos, I did give tips and tricks along the way, but this video, I just wanna pull out some of the things that I think that are really powerful inside Microsoft OneNote for Windows. Let's get started on these seven tips today. I'll put the links to the other videos that I mentioned down below in the description and I'll put the playlist up top in the card so you can just click on it and check out the other videos easily as well. Also timestamp this video so look in the description you'll be able to jump around this video if there's something that piques your interest you can click on it and go right there without having to watch the whole video. So let's start with tip number one today. So if you've been following my other tutorials, my level one and level two OneNote tutorials, you would have known I was creating something around for traveling and I was looking at Tulum. I'm just gonna bring in a research page because the first thing I wanna show you is the web clipper. And I'll show you how to install this in a moment after I show you how it works. Uh, but the extension, you can see the OneNote web clipper is right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And I have it here and it's gonna come up and it's gonna generate a page, a full page page preview just like this and because I have full page selected I could do a region too so what that means is I could go to a certain region and how it's darkened and I could just grab it like this and then it will show me what's going to go into my OneNote if what page I select or maybe I want to do the article so you can see at this point it's pulling just the text out it makes it an easy to read one or I could just bookmark it if I find a page and it will put it in through this way so I'm just going to go back to region um, I'm going to close this and I'm going to take a different region I'll just take this I'll have some pictures in it just as an example. Then it's gonna pop up. And where do I want it to go? Well, I don't want it to go to Travel Disneyland. I drop down. You do need to be logged into your account, same account. I'm gonna to go to Mexico here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit clip. I'm gonna go over to my OneNote and show you what it looks like. I'm back here in my Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10, and you can see it uh, put it in the section. It created a brand new page right here with the section that uh, the selection that I picked here. And remember, you can move these around. So this page, if I wanted to be a subsection of Tulum, I'm just going to drag it back up with Research, and it's going to be a subsection up there. So where do you get this extension? I'll put the link down below to this page. I'll just bring this across here. Uh, this one uh, will recognize your browser. I'm on. Chrome so that's where the extension would be uh, would be added to but you just go ahead click on it add to Chrome and this will add the extension and you go through and it's going to add the extension up top uh, I'm just going to click on this here and you can see it opens up here now you do have to be logged in there's the sign in here sign out to make sure you're logged in but what I like also to do is pin this. So if I pin this, it will stay right up there for easy access. So take a look. If you haven't used the Web Clipper in OneNote for Microsoft Windows 10, it's a great little feature to use. So tip number two for OneNote for Windows here is about cropping images. Now, if you notice, if I click on this image that I just brought in, uh, there's no crop. I can size it very quickly by grabbing the handles and moving it, and I can move this around. That's easy to do, but you won't find a crop on the menu. So what you can do is a little bit of a workaround if you're on Windows 10. And I, I'm gonna give you the shortcut here. You're gonna hold the three keys all at once. You're gonna hold the Windows logo key at the bottom of your keyboard, and you're gonna hold the Shift and the S key. And so you notice what that does, it darkens it here. And this allows you to take a uh, screenshot of a certain area. So I'm gonna go and just pick this part of the image. Let's say I just want this and I let go and now you'd be wondering, well, where did it go? Uh, it's able to cut, you're able to copy paste it now. So if I pick a different area, so if I just pick over here and I'll just move down and I'm just gonna go control V, you can see it pasted that image inside of here that I took from the above one. So that's a little bit of a workaround uh, when you are uh, needing to crop a certain part of a image inside OneNote and you can just use that shortcut. 
This time I want to show you the math tool inside Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10. And what I'm going to do first is just draw a simple equation here. Uh, I could type it in, but I'm just going to draw for an example. Uh, this will be a little bit messy, but just to kind of show you what you can do with this. If I had a tablet, it would work much better if I had my pen out here. But I'm just going to write a equation here. All I'm going to do is say x over 3 uh, plus x over 2 and I'm going to say equals uh, we're going to say 1 over 6 just like that uh, so kind of messy and everything maybe I was taking notes what you can do inside OneNote is solve this I'm going to click on the math right here and it walks you through the steps to how to do this on the right uh, here but I'm going to go ahead and select this what I just wrote so lasso select I'm going to pick it and I'm going to draw the selection tool I missed it a bit I'll just draw it again this way so I've selected everything here and now if I pick the math tool you can see it says x over 3 plus x over 2 equals 1 over 6 that is what I wrote uh, I, you can see if I could fix it if it wasn't right but I'm gonna I can say ink to math at this time and it turns it right into this so it turned it into a font and that's not all it can do so watch this if I drop down I can solve for x I could graph both sides in 2d or graph in 2d so if I go uh, solve for x I can even show the steps of this so you can see as it breaks it down it even has generated a practice quiz for this one but I could go and even graph it and insert this onto the page like this so this is a handy little feature something fun to play with the one thing I wanted just to make note is if you don't see this math tool inside of your Microsoft OneNote for Windows 10 it is part of the subscription of it so I have a subscription service with Microsoft 365 so you do need that to access the math tool like I just showed uh, you might have it if you're a student uh, and have access through the school that you're at Another great tool, and this is also part of the Microsoft 365 subscription part of OneNote, is the replay tool. And let me show you what this does. I think really think this would be great for school if you're taking notes and want to see kind of the process of how you took your notes. Uh, if I go, and I'm just going to go to back to the draw tool, and I'm just going to do some quick sketching here. I'm going to point at this picture like so, and I'll draw a couple of different things. And I'm going to grab a highlighter, and I'm going to highlight this. I'm just going to go back to my text tool and I'm just going to click up here and say this is uh, I'll just put great like so so maybe the process was important of how I took those notes at different points if I go back to the view tab and then across the ribbon to replay and it's saying drag to the select area you want to replay well if I highlight over this area you can kind of see how things came together so maybe you were sketching taking notes in that order is helpful to help, helpful for you to remember how things went that replay function could be a tool could be a great one for you I really like this feature of being able to send your emails right to OneNote to keep everything organized. So if I was planning my trip, as I used for an example, maybe I have my itineraries or maybe I had uh, a PDFs of something in an email, I could have those emails sent right into OneNote. So it makes everything uh, very easily organized in that one place. So this is how you do it. I'll put the link down below of this uh, page uh, in the description below the Web Clipper one. Uh, it's very easy to set up uh, you're going to just go set up your email to OneNote so you're going to put in your information right through here so now that I've logged in connected my OneNote account to this all the emails that I send to me at OneNote.com will go into my notebook so where is it going to save to it's going to be saved to by default what I choose here so if I was working on my planning my trip I wanted an itinerary in there maybe that were, that's where I make my default through here but you can actually change the default they give you a little de uh, tip here on the side by using the at symbol here so uh, if you're using the at symbol followed by the section name in the end of your email subject line just like this so there's a little tip that they give you this so make sure you connect your email and then when you send to me at onenote.com that it's going to be sent over to your OneNote where you can keep track of your emails in this one place so with this tip I want to show you how you can permanently delete 
a notebook in Microsoft OneNote. Uh, so if you go up here, you probably notice if you've tried to delete any, you can't, you can close them. So if I was gonna go to maybe this YouTube one here, uh, you can see I get different options. If I right click on it, I can close this notebook. And I, it's not in my list anymore of different notebooks. It didn't get deleted. So if I go back and go to more notebooks, you can see it's just right here and I can go ahead and open and it will be back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up. I'm going to log into office.com and show you in OneDrive how to, how to delete it. So I just logged into office.com. You can see all my different online apps that I have. Here's OneNote right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Uh, so this is OneNote. Uh, remember, you can work in the online environment too. I could open these all up here, but I want to delete a notebook. So this time I'm going to just go to OneDrive here and I do have a video all about OneDrive. I'll put the link down below here, but you can see if I actually wanted to delete a notebook now, I would delete it through here. So if I just right click on here, uh, you'll be able to see we can delete it. We also, as soon as we select here we do have the different commands up top where I can delete it here as well so if I go ahead and delete it this uh, it will be gone from it so I won't be able to re-access it through the way I just showed you at the beginning by closing and opening it but a lot of times if people want to delete one this is where you're gonna to have to go to do that for my last tip number seven today I want to show you how you can directly scan from your phone phone and send it to Microsoft OneNote for Windows. And this can be done really easily if you're using the Microsoft Office Lens app. And this is good iPhone or if it's on your Android, uh, just download it and install it. I'm going to go ahead and open up Lens here and I'm just going to hover over a document. I'm not going to go very far in depth with Lens. I'll put a different tutorial to the link down below, but I'm just going to snap. I'm under document. I'm just going to snap a photo of that and I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. And you can see how quick it straightens things up on it uh, and you could even do a better job if you want to spend some time taking a look at down below at some of the filters and cropping and such but I'm going to hit done and OneNote is one of the options here so if I go OneNote on this one uh, you'll see the location I already had one uh, location selected but I can pick different locations on this too all the different ones that the different ones that I've created before on OneNote are here so I'm going to put this in documents and select important like so and I'm just going to hit save like this so now it's moving all this over so let's go back over and check it inside my Microsoft OneNote I'm just going to go over to that documents one right here. You can see documents and here is what I scanned directly to the important section. It created its own page. I could rename it just like I've shown you in past tutorials. So I find this is a really handy feature to be able to just take those snapshots, push it right to OneNote from your mobile device. So I hope you like these seven tips today. Hopefully they make you more productive inside OneNote. Check out my uh, lesson two. I give you a couple other tips on things like immersive reader and the researcher tool that is really cool so but i'll put the links to those below in the description thanks for watching this time on teachers tech i'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials